Hello guys, how's it going? In this video, I will show you how to use Sparkle queries in Python to retrieve information from RDF graphs. So first of all, you want to make sure that the RDF library is installed and I'm going to import some classes. Now for this demonstration, I will be using the Wikidata database, but you can use the DBP, it also works on the DBpedia and other databases. And I will be demonstrating on the Michael Jackson entity. So this is how the Michael Jackson entity looks like in the human readable format. So let's uh, first import it and I'm importing it from this URL where the all the triples are represented in the total format, which is human read, uh, computer readable. All right, so let's check out the number of triples that the graph contains. And we can see that the graph contains over 100,000 triples. So it's a quite a large graph. Now I'm going to quickly demonstrate to you uh, three different approaches, how to retrieve a labels of, the, of an entity. So first of all, I'm going to um, just iterate over the list of objects where this subject is Michael Jackson and the predicate is the alternative label. And I'm going to simply print out its value and its language of the object or of, or of the label. Uh, similarly, I can use the preferred label method, again specifying the subject and for the predicate or property, I can specify multiple properties, but I'm just interested in the alternative labels. And again, uh, printing out its value and the language. And now in the last, uh, in the third approach, I'm going to use the query method where I'm specifying the query string. So this is the query string that you would use if you want to use the uh, query service on Wikidata. So for example, uh, I'm just retrieving all the alternative labels of the Wikid of the Michael Jackson entity and printing them out. And we can do the same thing using Python, just using the query method and iterating over the list of the query results and printing out its uh, value and the language we can basically get the same set of results as with the previous two approaches. Now, the reason why I don't have to specify the prefixes, like for example, for the big data entity and for the scores, is because the graph that I have important already contains all the prefixes and namespaces uh, predefined. Right, moving on, the advantage of the queries uh, over the previous two approaches for the information retrieval retrieval is that we can use more complex queries so for example with this query i'm retrieving all the rdfs labels the preferred labels and also the alternative labels and filtering out those which are not in english language and then lastly uh, ordering them alphabetically and also uh, getting the distinct labels, meaning that there will be no duplicates in the result. So these are basically all the alter, all the labels that a Michael Jackson entity has um, ordered alphabetically and without any duplicates. Now, another example would be to retrieve all the awards that Michael Jackson has won, uh, getting all of its labels, again, filtering out those which are not in English, and optionally, if the award uh, contains a description, get the description and filter the description if it's not in English, and then just uh, formatted it nicely and printed out. And these are the list of label uh, list of awards that Michael Jackson has won, which has which have a English label and also a description. Now for those which have a um, description none means that the description doesn't contain an English description or uh, none for that matter. Now, last thing that I want to point out is the speed of different approaches. 
So the first approach that we used is just simply iterating over the triples. And this approach is basically the fastest. And it also takes up the least, least amount of space because it will return a generator object. Now, the next approach, the next fastest thing would be to just uh, get the preferred label uh, using the preferred label method. And the advantage of this is we can specify more than just one property, whereas in the previous example, we could specify only one. And unfortunately, the queries are the slowest, they take up the most time. However, if we want mm, more complex, uh, information retrieval, uh, specifying some complex logic uh, using the queries would be actually the fastest because we, uh, with the previous approaches, we would have to uh, either create multiple uh, iterators or uh, using some more complex uh, filtering approaches, etc. etc. So, using the queries. Query, query method would be actually the fastest, right? So one more thing that I want to show you is the list of prefixes. So this is the list of all the built-in prefixes that are in the Wikidata. So this is the reason why we didn't have to specify the SCOS or the RDFS or the VD and the Wikidata entity properties because they are all already predefined. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching.